Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over Zayn's third album called Nobody Is Listening. So, in this album, I'm really excited to get into. I am a huge fan of Zayn. I, he has been my number one favorite directioner of the direct One Direction, and I'm so excited to see how he's grown. And I'm so happy to know, even after um, the shit that got that he went through with the people that made him, that came after him for leaving the band and his social anxiety and all that stuff that added to it, um, it's great to see that he has finally came back and is ready to release me is releasing music and release an album and a very good solid album too. I really really like it. I think that I was kind of skeptical at first because I was like, I don't really know what we're getting because it felt like better, the song's better, the song better, it felt like it was really nice, but I wasn't really sure, it still didn't feel like I was getting a taste of, of it, and I was completely right. I, that was just one side of the album, as much as Vibes, when Vibes came out as a single, I definitely knew, I was like, okay, okay, there's more to this album than just, than not just R&B, but even more, because he, I felt like he, he kind of was releasing kind of more slower, like chill kind of sounds, but it felt like with Vibe, it, it felt a little more commercial in the best way, uh, but his own type of stink, and I really love it. I also noticed that each album is going is as he likes to add a little bit to a little bit of something to it. So mine of mine was uh, which came was his first album count 2016 was pretty much very it gave you complete R and B. Um, kind of dark tones pieces, and then the second album, uh, Icarus Falls, came out in 2018, which I know a lot of people weren't really for it, especially because it was up to 30 songs long, or 38, I think, or 28. Um, very long album, but, and I did, and I felt like in this, in that album, they, he gave you R&B still, but he also added a little, t some flavors, he had some tropical flavors to it with Let Me, and... Some other flavors had more, like, Bollywood, like, tones to it, too, which I thought was really, really nice, especially with his Bollywood runs, too. Um, and now we have this one, which is giving you, which I feel like it's leaning into more of a, um, giving you R&B still, but giving you touches of, uh, the British hip-hop kind of scene, which I think is really, really nice. So, I'm gonna great break down some of the songs I really, really liked. The album is pretty short. It's like, well, not short. It's, it's the standard size, because it's like 11 out, or tracks. So I'm gonna go through the whole thing, or parts of the parts that are my favorite and everything. And let's start with the first one, which I love, is, uh, the first song, Clamity, or Clamity, Clamity. Um, I hate, I think you wouldn't like that being the first song. Um, Clamity is the first song, and it's pretty much, like, I thought at first, I was like, okay, there's a rapper at the beginning, it's cool, sounds nice. And I was listening to it, and I was listening to the whole thing, I was like, ooh, this is really nice. I love how it went from, it's the song, the rap verse started as poetry, in a way. And then as you got on, as it, the beat picked up, or the sound production picked up, and he started picking up his, sat, like, this person started picking up the um, rhythm and everything with the rhyme, and it did form into a full-on, like, rap style, and I thought it was so cool, I loved the slow transition into it, it was really cool, and I thought it was completely somebody else, did not know that it was Zayn rapping this whole time, it made me appreciate the song even more, and then he goes into his normal song, like, vert, like, his normal, um, singing and everything, and it just, uh, it was a complete great beginner. Um, next song I really liked was Vibes, of course, the second single to this album, because I thought that I kind of liked better, but I did feel like it was kind of lukewarm in a way, because I didn't really, I was really waiting for a huge bang of the first single, and this song, the song was good, but just, it wasn't really hitting me. Vibes definitely hit me harder, and so I was really loving the vibey sound. I love that it's, has this weird kind of like, it's only one verse, there's only one verse, and he kind of repeats, after that he repeats the pre-chorus. And I really like it, though, because it gives you the whole picture of the sound. And it, it makes you kind of feel like, oh, there technically didn't really need to be a second verse, doesn't really. It kind of just was a full-on song itself. Um, going to the next song I really like is When Love Is Around, When Love's Around, featuring Sid, who's part of the internet, um, a band called The Internet, not part of the internet, technically, I'm sure she is, but, you know. So, um, this, this song, I really love the, I really love the production. I thought it was really, really nice. Um, I felt like in these, 
and this album, it kind of started off with the themes of the albums, pretty much. The first song, Clamodity, was more about, like, himself. And then it goes into Better and Outside, where it talks about how he wants a second chance with this partner and wants to do... wants to... Um, with Better. And then Outside is where he leaves it up to her. She's like, you know, it's up to you whether you want to keep going with this or not keep going with this. It doesn't hurt me. It, like, it wouldn't bother me either way. It will hurt to break up and everything, stuff like that. But I feel like he lo it, there's this nice space that he leaves where it's just like, he says, I'll let you decide whether to leave my life outside or let me in. So it feels like it, it seems like they're in a spot where he sees is like, it, I don't know, with all the stuff that we've gone through, I understand it's hard to let me back in, but if you could, that'd be great kind of thing. If not, understandable. Um, so I really like that, and I love the sound, uh, I, I love the pieces that he touches on, where it talks about, like, do you take the dog, or do I keep the dog, kind of thing, um, with the aftermath parts of that, um, but I felt like when love is around, it feels like it goes right back into the, like, loving parts of it, especially vibes, I feel like, I feel like vibes kicks it off, um, Sid does a great job with her vocals, she's killing it, they have great harmonies, and I just, it's just complete smooth song. Connection's my next one that I really like. The, if you forgot that Zane doesn't understand what a, that doesn't understand where a limit of, the limitations of ranges, this is it. Like, the tent, the fossil in the pre-chorus is insane. You're like, oh, that's right, I forgot. Your range has no limits. Um, exact, it just has that. And I love this, this weird kind of like, muffled piece where he says, call it a digital, digital, but physical connection, and I feel like that kind of piece had a weird kind of, like, trumpet sound, but then muffled the same way. I literally sat back and tried to figure out what it was saying for, like, a minute, and then I had to look up the lyrics, but I really, really loved it. Um, uh, next song I really like is Unfucked With, Unfucked With The Bull. It's pretty much a great, this is a song that I felt so happy to see him do, it's pretty much about himself. He's just like, he's thinking about the idea that he is now more success. He feels more successful and impactful now that there's no one controlling his life. Hashtag the people that control them in one direction. Like he had no space to be, to have any R and B pieces to it that he can lay into it, which is his natural vocal space. And I felt like he had to, he said he had to be strictly pop. And so he felt like, he couldn't really span himself. He really understood who his, his identity was. So now that he's on his own musically, doing his own type of thing, and his own choice of who he gets to work with and everything, you definitely get to see a piece of him. You, I definitely do see in these albums way more personality, way more identity in this. And this is definitely a good boasting piece where he's like, um, me is all I need to to be inspired. My life and my vibes are all my design, are all my design. He's just very grateful, very happy that finally, with every decision and every action and everything that he, every or that he is, is his own now. And I think that's really, really cool. Um, going into, uh, Tight, uh, Rope, I really like this song. I felt like this song is talking about, um, how he gets, he has a lot of suspicion that he may not that this, that this love relationship may not work. He knows that. And, but at the same time, he's so in love with this, with this person that he's like, I don't care. I rather, I rather fall into it with the idea that it might not work than not test it out at all kind of thing. So I feel like I really like that. And I, um, and there's a part, which is, I've been hoping, I think I said this before in the last, time I mentioned Zane was that I hope he added some more like Bollywood uh, like pieces to it to his album and he completely does in this song not just add it and he completely has a full on sample piece that's from um hopefully I pronounce all of this right so he speaks he's he's whether it's him because I can't tell if it's him or it actually is a sample sample um but he's speaking in um Yurdu Yurdu uh U-R-D-U um, and it's, uh, interpolated from Muhammad Rafi's 1996 track, um, called, uh, Claude, Claude Vin Ka, Claude? Hope I pronounced that right. I did, probably didn't. Oh my god. But anyway, it's from this movie, from the movie with the same name. And it's, the translation goes, 
Are you the full moon or the sun? Whatever you are, I swear to God, you are beyond compare. And I think that's really, really sweet song, really sweet part. And I love that he did it repeatedly. He did it again later on in the album, or later on at the end of the song. I think it's nice for a wrap with a bow kind of piece. And I really think it was really cute. Um, and finally, the last, last, last song is um, River Road, which is a one I really love. Um, this song is pretty much talk, talking to the same thing, kind of going on with it, saying that um, just how much he really loves her and how much he really appreciates her. We know where she's he's talking about Bella, um, not Bella, Gigi Hadid. Um, so I really think this is really cute. It just, I love the piece that he says, we don't define each other. Stand along, stand on your own, be a pillar. Um, and I felt like that's a very, the song almost feels, honestly feels like a full poem in a way. And I know that this is based, I know some pieces, especially that lyric, is based off a poem that he posted on Instagram. But I felt like it just added more, I felt like it was like extension to it. Um, and I love this part where he says, to tell the truth, I am tired of falling. When I'm floating, it's, I'm closer to you. So he's pretty much, I, that's, there's a song that he mentions that where he's like, there's pretty much, he's like, I don't mind fall, I don't mind falling, I don't mind, it's a song, um, it's a, what's off of Icarus Falls, and he says, I don't mind falling as, as long as, is it, if it means I'm flying with you, and I feel like this one's pretty much the same thing, he's like, I don't, I'm tired of falling, I want to float with you, pretty much. And, but at the same time, he also wants to point out that she's her own identity, and he's his own identity, and that they're pillars standing together as, or standing together, identifying themselves, but still together as one in a way with each other. And I love that. Um, this album's really nice. I really am very, ha very proud of this album. I think it's real, did a great job. It's very simple and sweet. Um, I give this a 9 out of 10. Um, I felt like there, I feel like I, yeah, I give this a 9 out of 10. Um, leave a comment below to me what you thought. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more than more than that, to see more in the future, hit my, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all in the next video.